What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian in another Raid Shadow Legends video. So, right now, our new champion Amex here, right? And let's take a look where I am in the tournaments. Now, just so you guys know, I'm gonna be doing a big chart pool. I know for a lot of people it's not a big chart pool, but for a brand new account and a free to play account, it is. So, let's take a look right now, uh, Dragon Tournament. I already completed, got my 25 charts of uh, one of the fusing champions, right? Now going into champion training tournament, uh, this is going to be fine in the most because I already completed the dragon, so I'm probably going to go to campaign, get a lot of my food going on, uh, so I can level up my characters, I can get some, you know, a lot of points on that. And maybe even go for my first level 60 character. And tomorrow, we're going to start Classic Arena Takedown. Alright, so let's stop in here really quick and see what we have to do. Right now on Arena, I am... Alright. Uh, level 2 Silver, rank 2 Silver. Okay, and I am starting to get a little bit of harder fights, not a big deal really. But the best thing for you to do, because I'm going to have to put a lot more time on, on battling out in here, is you should go to your defense and change up a little bit. Those guys, kind of too strong. You don't want to drop too low, but you don't want to have a team that actually going to win most fights. So let's get... There you go. 240s. It doesn't drop me that far. A lot of people are going to be going against my team. But at the same time, I will have enough to keep myself high in the tires, not drop completely to like bronze one or bronze two. All right, so save. There you go. It's a beatable team. Cool. All right, this taken care of. Next thing, events. So the reason why I didn't do uh, any summons right now is because of summer rush, and there's more going on with the whole summer rush. Uh, and Dungeon Divers. Dungeon Divers was great. Um, I'm going to have to work on that a lot in campaign, leveling my characters to be able to get those. Because I need to get to 2700 to be able to get 25 more charts, right? So, it's okay. I still have like over two days to do that. So, it should be fine. Now, one thing I also want to bring your guys' attention, I saw a lot of discussion on YouTube right now, is this. Oh, no. Not, not this one. Sorry. Wrong. Wrong. Bad Russian. Not Russian. Russian. Bad Russian. Okay. So, as you guys see, yeah. so those brackets are usually like guys around the same level, right? And we have this guy, and... Every single time in those tournaments, that's what it's showing. It's player and whatever number, right? This guy has 13,000 points. Now, don't take me wrong. When you have some special, really, really special prizes by winning the tournament, I, I can't see that happening. But right here, like this guy is so above anybody else, right? And what is he's gaining? I mean, 10 charms, one ancient chart, and six gear? I mean, that does not compute these numbers. I mean, yeah, in the most, if you're talking about a player that doesn't even have a name, and you've seen that so much on YouTube the last few days with people having hundreds of thousands of points. What really doesn't make sense at all. They already beat everybody. And they could be working in other areas. Uh, even Krakens. Like, someone actually put the numbers down. And it would be like tens of thousands of dollars for some of those guys to get to that point. Okay? But anyway, let's not worry about them. Let's worry about us, right? Uh, I hope Plarian has, is kind of watching that stuff. Because something's going wrong. But anyway... So, right now, on events, Summer Rush, it's still not great because I don't have those really 
high number charts, meaning ancient charts only give me 20 points, mystery charts 1, void 120, and sacred 500. So I did use a 500 uh, sacred by mistake the other day. Big no no. Um, I gotta try to work to get some stuff back. Uh, but let's see. All right, so let's start with the void chart and let's see if I'm gonna get anything. Come on, come on, come on, lady luck. <laughs> A rare interceptor that I don't think I ever re leveled this character much. I mean, I probably can use in this account, but not really sure about it. Ancient charts, I have 24. So let's go for the first four. And prosecutor. Nope. All right, Kyle. That I already have, but I don't know. Maybe doing a different build may help. Oh great, Gaelic, Gaelic, Gaelic. I really had one account with him and I actually deleted the account. I really did not care about this champion. Uh, if you like him, let me know in the comments uh, how you use it, uh, him. Slitterbird, okay. All right, let's go for the tens. First one, please, give me something. Give me something decent, right? Dunstrider, Atel, all right. War priest, don't care. Use U.S. food. Uh, okay, all right. I mean, let's let's check what's next, right? Don't take me around. Some of those I may take a look because the way my account is right now, I really don't have any major major players. Uh, you know, most for defense, so I may take a look in how to use some of them. The most healers. Okay, next 20. No gore mask. Fame. All right, finally someone is. And Odachi. I think I have Odachi in this account. I have to take a look. So, Margrave Greyhawk, that was part of the last few, uh, one of the last fusions that I didn't get. Um, let's take a look. Fame. So, Thing about Fane, a lot of people seem to like her. I actually never got her in my accounts. Attack one enemy two times. Each hit has 35% of ceiling, 5% of the current. Okay, so she's a control. That's pretty good. And the most in an A1. Uh, Flower Steers level 1. Attacks one enemy has 75% chance of placing two 5% poison debuffs for two turns. Ascendant skill attacks one enemy, has 75 chance of placing two five poison debuffs, and 50% decrease attack debuff for two turns. That's great. And it's on a three turn cooldown, which is really good. And, okay. Um, flowing style level one attacks one enemy three times, so that's great on Fire Knight. The first hit has 75 chance of placing a 60% decrease defense debuff for three turns. Second hit has a 75% chance of placing a 25 weakened debuff for three turns. And the third hit heals this champion by 4% of their max XP for every debuff on the target. That's great. I can even see her on a clan boss because. You know, and also with Kyle, you're gonna just be putting those poisons and poisons and poisons, plus she's throwing even more stuff on him. And then she goes and heals herself 4% for every debuff. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, did I hope for a Lego? Yeah. What can I do? Everybody will hope for a Lego at some point, you know? Uh, in the most, I do have our attack. I can't complain too much about it. Um, but I do need some more, you know? 
but yeah, right now that's the time where I will be fighting to survive, pretty much. And yeah, I already far from this. So I'm uh, gonna be fighting for in the most when you go summer rush because I'm right here. So I pretty much would need like three times what I just did. When in a free to play is very hard. Sure, I could be lucky and sometimes they have extra. Like if you don't get every single one, you, you have like an offset where you have one or two tournaments that will give the extra 25. If not, I don't know if I can do it. I mean, not in a free to play account. Uh, it makes really, really hard to get you here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try. In the most, I do have, don't take me wrong, I do have a lot of, uh, of the regular charts that, you know, they will help me a little bit. And if I get enough energy, I should be okay for the most part. You know, it's just make sure to grind. But yeah, guys, what do you think? Are you going for this new legendary? Are you going for that? Uh, let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, one thing I forgot. It's really big right now, too. And that's why I was waiting. Is because you can get a lot of the champions you want for, for Hydra from those shards for the next three days. So, let's see. Um, let me know if you guys got any of those because it is 10 times more chance but you're talking about like hundreds of champions so uh, percentage not that higher plus the chance of getting legendaries is 0.5% and it only goes up to 6% on sacred right but yeah anyway let me know in the comments uh, how you guys feeling about this what do you think about Plarian like how they're playing some of those uh you know, uh, some of those tournaments and everything. And what do you guys think about those players that somehow have hundreds of thousands and supposedly they're new players? You know, they get hundreds of thousands of points in tournaments. I mean, unless you're spending enough to buy a brand new car, you probably wouldn't be able to. Yeah, but let me know. Anyway, guys, let me go grind. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you very soon in the game.